Hey, this is Brett the Hitman Hart, and I got a very special shout out for my longtime fan, Garcon. Garcon, I want to thank you for being a fan of mine. I want to thank you for picking my character in the games. You play me so well, and I just mean so much to me when you kick ass on that game. And I want to thank you for putting me on your YouTube channel, and I want you to know that you are the excellence of execution in life. You are the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. Take it to him. Hello, champions. We're going to do another of the Forgotten Gems, or as I call it, the Uncommonly Used Common Guys. This time, it's going to be Brett R. Technician. This is Brett R. The Excellence of Execution. Currently at 4-star gold as a loan from Scopely. I don't get to keep him at 4-star gold, obviously. Mine will, will be reverted to whatever he was before. If we have a look... He's obviously new gen. Trainer bonus at 5k. Move that generate botch gems will create five more botch gems. So basically uh, an alternative if you don't have Arn Anderson as a trainer. Links with the Art Foundation, the Art Family, Canadian, the other Art Foundation, and new gen. He does have a gear that increases the green gem generation, generation from move by two. Unfortunately, I don't have it, so I can't show it for you. This is what it looks like. Basically different shades for the jacket, the pants, and the top. All right, move sets. We're gonna go with the Spike Pile Driver, 12 MP green move finisher, deals 27.8k damage plus 4.7k bonus for every botch gem and pin the opponent. The Suplex 7 MP blue move, deal 29.6k damage and choose 5 gems to make into botch gems. And the Arm Drag 8 MP blue move, deal 14.5k damage and choose 4 gems to make into green gems. Trainers will be using our Lawler to start with more blue and Arn Anderson to create nine extra botched gems. You could also use Rezzer to make more greens with the Arn Drag instead. Kind of like Arn Anderson better because that makes 14 botch right here and that means 14 times 4.7k damage plus the finisher damage itself. It's over 90, like close to 95k damage. We're gonna have Andre and Triple HDX to help loading that green and that uh, blue. Main issue here is that he does not reload really well. So we basically need blue or green to start this match and hope we're not gonna need to uh, recycle. Uh, we do have the green. Now I don't have any perks right now. There's no perks in the game that are live. We're gonna go with blue here. Now I'm not gonna use my botch gems right away, but I will use this to generate some greens. This will load my finisher. Perfect. Now I'm going to place those basically where he could kick out. Which unfortunately is a lot of different space. Alright, let's hope this is going to make it harder for him. So 93k. And he could not kick out of it. Ooh, he almost did though. If you place those right, and I mean, there was a lot of option here because there was a lot of possible gems match. This can definitely be an easy win for you. So this is how it works perfectly. Let's uh, try something different. You wanted a big fight. You wanted to start a fight with the hitman. You wanted to start a war? Well, you did.
All right, let's do the exact same thing, same spec, green, blue, blue. But this time, instead of using Arn Anderson, we're going to use Rezzer, because if you're a newer player, well, Arn Anderson doesn't exist anymore, so you can't get him. So, Bret Hart being the basically substitute for that, you can train yourself with him. So let's use Rezzer. Uh, he will make four more green. That means we're going to have a choose eight with this. We're going to keep uh, Andre and Triple H as coaches. That means our finisher is going to do less damage because it's going to be 27.8 and that 5, uh, 5 times 4.7 that's going to meet a little under 25k so that means it's going to be about 50k for the finisher instead which means he's very likely going to kick out of it Now, ideally, you want to use those uh, those chews to help a little with the recycling, because that's probably going to be an issue. So we don't have any blue. Let's go for green. Oh, he had blue. Now we don't have any blue or green. Well, it's definitely not helping that we're losing half or out before we can even do a move. Right, I'll get those out right away, because anyway, I'm not really going to need them. We're going to put it here. We'll take this blue. All right. Using those to get those blue right here. Right. Let's get another one of those. Not any of his main colors. Put it there, but that's not going to be enough to keep him down. We don't have blue again. Let's go for green. Now you, that's why I don't like to use Rezzer. It's because you don't get strong pins. And since he does not recycle whatsoever, this is going to be for a very long match. So unless you face someone who's very weak, which is not the case for Seth, you're going to get your ass ended to you for a while. I'm definitely not even confident we're going to win this. Because I can't even do anything next turn. I'm at least two turns away from doing anything, really. OK, 
Okay. Probably shouldn't have already used that. Because I don't know what's going to fall down. Should have waited. And he's out. That was not pretty. It's viable, but it's definitely not reliable. All right, let's see one last spec that you will be excellently executed once and for all by the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. Bob all right, final move said. This is only to be used against botch gem users. Otherwise, not really viable. It is the spike pile driver, 12 MP green move. Finisher deal 27.8K damage plus 4.7K bonus damage for every botch gems and pin the opponent. The DDT 7 MP black move deal 19.7K damage and make six random red gems into green gems. And a pendulum backbreaker, 8 MP blank move, deal 34.8k damage and steal 8 botch gems. Now, trainers for that. We're using Braid to start with more black and we're going to be using Rezzer to make 4 more green gems. Although it's very possible there won't be 10 to convert into green. It's not random gems, it's random red gems. So doesn't always work but stealing eight if we were to put arn anderson instead we would be stealing 17. there really ain't that many guys that are going to put out 17 botch gems on the board like if you're facing maybe like uh, santa mark henry maybe but otherwise I mean, you can use arn but you're never gonna have that many to steal realistically so let's have a look coaches are elias and dx triple h so the only target of good enough level that has botch gems on the road, at least I think Goldust is pretty much the only one that even has botch gems on the ball, uh, or at least a decent amount of botch gems. So I think Luger also had some, but not that many. All right, so we got black right here unfortunately i basically gotta wait for him to lay down those botch gems which he will on the next turn so that's good and we're gonna get out of that i don't want to burn my black and i don't want to burn any uh any uh red either but it looks like i don't really have a choice to burn the black all right, so now we're gonna convert the reds. We got the finisher ready, but I'm not gonna use it right away. Ideally, right now I'd start working back on the uh, black, but I don't have any. Let's go for damage in the meantime. We're gonna let him use the botch gem move. Turns out he makes much more than I thought he did. <laughs> Could have used uh, Arn Anderson after all. All right. So we got to get out of there. Trying not to get too many of those, but it doesn't look like I can really get anything else. Alright, so we 
We don't have that many left, so we're good. Pretty much got all that was left. You should be able to get out of that, though. He did. So now we gotta start over. Gotta get out of that. Okay, we don't have any black. This is gonna give me one along with some greens. He's gonna be able to do a whole bunch of botch gems on the next turn. I still don't have any black, but I'll have my move on the next turn. Not the one to steal those botch though. Because I can't get any black on that board. Let's convert reds into green. curious if his botch gems are gonna count though there's one two three four five six seven eight nine boy one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen that would be like well over 100k like 13 times five uh, that that would be like about 90 like 80 something k let's see if it does 80k or not no it does not all right so it doesn't count is it only count yours i wasn't sure about that because some other move actually count your opponent gems as well <laughs> this does not all right so we still don't have any black which we're never going to get at this point. Again, he suffers from the fact that he does not recycle whatsoever. Probably like three or four turns from even even being able to do a pin. Alright, now we can steal some. Well, unfortunately, I can't do anything. There's no green, there's no... There's no black, so I still can't do anything. At least I got a pin, and if we're lucky, it's gonna stick. And we're not lucky, it did not stick, even though he doesn't have any health left. But now we got enough for the finish. So yeah, again, that works in very, very, very specific situations that you're fa facing someone that uses botch gems, and even then, it was really not that good. All right, let's get out of there. All right, final verdict on Bret Hart. Well, the last two moves I showed you are a waste. Don't waste your time on that. The first one, definitely 
pretty good. Uh, you're probably not always gonna have it as easy as I did on my first one. That one really, just like everything went really well. But even if it didn't, probably wouldn't be too far behind for a win anyway. First one works really well. If you have Arn Anderson as a trainer, if you don't have Arn Anderson, I'd say you might want to go with Goldust over uh, Bret Hart as a technician, which we'll show at a later stage, probably maybe next week or the week after in another video. But other than that, with Arn Anderson as a trainer, really good. So that's it. Thanks for watching. If you're not already a sub, make sure to do so to be kept aware when I post new stuff. If you have any questions, ask them. And if you like the video, leave a like and share. See you guys. Gia.